Hello guys, in this episode we will talk about Troll Warlord. It's an easy thing to offend a troll. A prickly and contentious race, trolls thrive on argument and strife, missing no excuse to raise their voices in dispute. Males grow to maturity in subterranean chambers beneath their matriarch's domicile, feeding and amusing themselves while contributing nothing. Often they stay for years beyond the age of maturity while the matriarch provides them with sustenance. When young trolls are finally pushed from their sub-chamber, they gather with others of their kind, forming roving gangs of malcontents who complain loudly about all manner of vexation. As much as trolls love to argue, imagine how rare it is for a troll to be driven from his own kind for being too difficult to get along with. Such was Jarakal's fate, a monger troll from deep in the Hoven. So deluded was he, so bitter and abrasive, that even other trolls found his company intolerable. After one particularly vitriolic outburst in which he claimed the lion's share of loot from their latest raid, his cohorts finally snapped. They turned on him, beat him with clubs and drove him from the encampment. Enraged at his banishment, he returned the next day, armed with steel, and slew them all, one by one. He then swore a blood oath he would ever after fighting force unto himself. Now he roams the world as the troll warlord, bitter and angry, the imperial high commander of an army of one. Troll is an agility hero who becomes more and more popular every day. This hero can switch between ranged and melee form. This unique ability distinguishes him from others. At level 1, Troll has 17 strength, 21 agility, 13 intelligence, only 47 damage, 300 move speed and 1 armor. Overall, Troll is a squishy hero. He's got a low mana pool, but his abilities have a low mana cost as well. Troll's first ability is called Berserker's Rage. Initially, Troll is a ranged hero, but this ability allows him to switch to a melee form. Activating this ability also grants following bonuses damage, move speed, attack speed, bonus HP, bonus armor, and a bash chance. This ability does not become much stronger with each level, there's just a few changes. Troll's second ability is called Whirling Axes. Using this ability in the ranged form slows down your opponent and deals insignificant damage, while in the melee form, this skill makes your opponent miss his attacks and it deals a lot more damage. Troll's third ability is called Fervor. With each continuous blow on the same target, Troll gains increased attack speed, but if Troll changes targets, the stacks drop to zero. Troll's ultimate is called Battle Trance. Activating Battle Trance increases the attack speed of himself and all allied heroes for 7 seconds. Troll is mostly used as a carry in the tri-lane or a solo meat hero. First, let's take a look at the carry troll in the tri-lane. This is going to be an aggressive tri-lane. Empire vs. Ruxkis at the Star Ladder LAN Finals. Silence started item build consists of Tango, Healing Self, Ring of Protection and two Ironwood branches. First he completes his baseless ring, then he buys Face Boots plus Magic Wand, Gladmere's, Shadow Blade, Ogre Club into a BKB and a Butterfly. His skill build is as follows, Whirling Axis, Berserker's Rage, Whirling Axis, Fervor, Whirling Axis, Battle Trance, Whirling Axis, Fervor from level 8 to level 10, Battle Trance, Attribute Bonuses, Berserker's Rage from level 13 to level 15, Battle Trance and the rest is the Attribute Bonuses. So why did he choose this item build and skill build? Ring of Protection from the starting build was upgraded into a Basil's Ring, because their tri-lane consisted of 3 heroes who depend on mana, so mana regen was quite necessary. This skill build makes Troll quite mobile, he can easily slow down his opponent and then deal damage with Whirling Axis in the melee form. His passive gives a good attack speed, but of course he concentrates on Whirling Axis as the main skill.
This time, let's take a look at the solo mid troll. He will be laning against Elder Titan. This is Navi vs Alliance at the land finals of Star Ladder. Dendi got pulled at Tango and the healing cell. He also has a Wraith Band and two Iron Wood branches as his starting item build. He buys Bottle first, then Boots and a Magic Stick, then Face Boots and a BKB. He did not manage to buy anything else because the game didn't go well for Navi, but I think his next items would be something like Butterfly or MKB. His skill build is a little bit different from Silence 1. It's Berserker's Rage at level 1, then Whirling Axis twice, then Fervor, Whirling Axis, Battle Trance, Whirling Axis, Fervor from level 8 to level 10, Battle Trance, Berserker's Rage from level 12 to 14, Battle Trance at level 16, and the rest is attribute bonuses. Skilling Berserker's Rage at level 1 allowed Dendi to harass his opponent in the ranged form and then last hit in the melee form, having additional damage. As for Battle Crow, it's quite standard and Dendi had to use it. We decided to take a replay where Dendi did not have a good time at all. This was a really hard game for Dendi. Navi got stumped and unfortunately for Troll, he could not do anything to prevent it. He needed to buy BKB first, but again, he didn't manage to buy anything else and used Troll's full potential. But we saw his skill build and item build and the way he plays solo mid Troll. Everything seems pretty clear, he only needed a couple more items like Butterfly or MKB to do some impact in the game. But Navi lose this game, what else can be added? Troll is often picked for push strategies, sometimes you can pick him to deal more massive damage, for example if there is a Doom with Alpha Wolves Aura and Clinks, these guys will deal insane damage, but you need good items for it. You can also play a jungling troll, but pro players almost never use him as a jungling hero, so we will take a look at the regular pub game. You can kill a Roshan with such troll before minute 10. How to do it, you will see now.
Alright guys, this is it. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to our channel and I will see you in the next videos.